Welcome to Designer Digital Spy Weekly Tip, July 3, 2015. This week, how to distress word art using masks in Photoshop and Elements. This week, I was working on a page when I wanted to give a distressed look to the word art title I was using. I was able to get the effect I wanted by combining the word art with a page blend mask. You can use the same technique to create a painted, washed, or textured look by using different types of photo masks. Here's how. Begin by opening the word art that you want to use and then use the move tool to move it onto your digital document. Open a page blend mask or a photo mask or other brush or texture stamp set. Use the Move tool to drag the mask onto your document. At this point, you can resize the mask, if necessary, by dragging the corner to increase or decrease the size of the mask. When you have your mask the size you want it, go ahead and tick the check mark either up in the Options bar or underneath the mask to confirm the change. Next, drag the mask layer underneath the Word Art layer over in the Layers panel. The word art should rest one position above the mask in the layers panel. Select the word art layer and then press alt Control g or on a Mac system option command G in Photoshop. If you're working in Elements, choose Control g or on a Mac system command G. This causes the word art to take on the effect of the mask. At this point, you can still target the mask layer and then drag it around underneath the word art to get the effect that you're looking for. Now your word art looks distressed or painted or textured, but you can still see the mask surrounding it. To hide that unsightly mask, you'll need to control click or on a Mac System Command click the thumbnail of the word art on the word art layer in the layers panel. When you control click on the thumbnail, it selects just the words and it places marching ants around them. Now click the mask layer under the word art layer to select it. Click the add vector mask icon in the layers panel. It's going to look like a rectangle with a circle inside. It almost looks like a camera to me. The mask that is created will hide the portion of the mask that's outside of your word art selection. And you'll see the mask to the right side of the thumbnail in the mask layer in the layers panel. And then your distressed word art will be visible without the page blend mask surrounding it. In earlier versions of Elements before vector masking was added, you're going to press Control shift i or on a Mac System Command Shift I after selecting the word art. That's the part where we control clicked on the thumbnail of the word art to get the marching ant. Target the mask layer and press delete or backspace on your keyboard. This will erase away the portion of the page blend mask that's outside of the word art. By combining a mask image with word art, you can give your titles and word art images a whole new look. Try this technique on brush images too. Thanks for watching and be sure to check back in two weeks for the next Designer Digital's tip.